What's up guys, it's Vignox and I'm back with another video and recently I've started getting into streaming and I've noticed that when I'm streaming there's a bit of a delay between when I'm doing something in a game and when I see a viewer's comment and I can't really reply in real time to them and be interactive as a streamer. So I found out how to fix this in Streamlabs and I just wanted to share it with you guys real quick. Um, it's a pretty easy solution, but it's kind of tucked away in the options for Streamlabs. So I just felt like not a lot of people might know about it. So why not just share it? Because uh, it's really an easy fix. It's not too technical at all. So what you want to do is you want to pull up the settings of Streamlabs. And you want to go to the advanced settings. Um, you'll see some settings in here. I honestly didn't um, didn't change anything at all. I just left it as it is. But if you scroll down here to stream delay, you want to make sure that you have the same settings as me. So I think the default here is like 20 seconds in the stream delay. It will be enabled with 20 seconds. You want to have it enabled at zero seconds. That way it will force Twitch to keep you at a zero second delay. If you have this preserved cutoff point checked, you want to uncheck that box because that essentially naturally introduces stream delay throughout your stream. Lastly, what you want to do is ensure that um, your automatically reconnect is enabled and the retry delay is zero seconds. So the reason you want to do that is if you have shoddy internet and you accidentally disconnect for a second while you're streaming, it doesn't start your stream up 10 seconds behind you or whatever your delay is set to. So you want to ensure that that's zero. Maximum retries isn't involved in what we're trying to do here. Just keep it at the default. It's fine. Um, but yeah, so that should, and I've tested it and it works, remove all delay from your Twitch stream between you doing something in a game and it being broadcasted to Twitch. The only limiting factor is your own internet connection. So this is how you reduce lag in Streamlabs OBS. If you guys want to watch me stream some games with zero lag, just go ahead and follow me on Twitch because my link is going to be in the description. And I hope that this is a helpful, pretty short video, pretty quick. Just wanted to get to the point. But uh, yeah, enjoy, guys.